fans, welcome back to The Brick Station. We have another LEGO Star Wars review here. And this is, I hope you're not getting tired of Star Wars reviews, because we really like Star Wars. And this is set 7502, Bark Speed with Sidecar. 226 pieces. Recommended ages are 7 to 12. It says on the box includes two new and hard to find minifigures, referring to the new 2013 Captain Rex and 2013 Obi-Wan Kenobi Clone Wars version. And both are really cool minifigures. And then also we also get two commando droids in this set. And that's a pretty nice I'm going to get all those good minifigures in this $20 set retail price. I got this for our birthday party that we recently had. We get this Bark Speeder here, and we get the Separatist Speeder that one of the Commando Droids can sit on while the other one has to run. Captain Rex minifigure is my favorite, and Obi-Wan Kenobi, he's pretty awesome as well. So now, Let's check this set out up close. Is that close enough for you? We will start with our minifigure. So first of all, we got Captain Rex 2013 version. He's got a really cool new helmet shape that is also used on 501st Legion Clone Trooper and 212 something Trooper. I think it's Cody or something. He's got the same head as his 2011 version, except it has darker printing, I like that. And then he has this really cool cloth here, cloth for the shoulder pauldron. It's blue on this side, and then on this side, it's black with the blue stripes. The 2011 version actually had gray plastic shoulder pauldrons that weren't as cool. This version's cool, and it gets two of these blaster pistols that are pretty cool. This torso is really cool. It has like a communication device right here. And then he, for some reason, his helmet has tally marks all over it. This side and this side. And then on the torso, we see the same thing on the chest plate. He's got a new print on the front. And then he's got blue arms and black hands. And on the back, he also has some new printing. He has some dirt printed on him. Then he's got his new black leg, comma, blaster resistant armor, whatever. It's pretty cool. It's very hard to put on, so I'm, pro I'll, just, I'll just show you. I'm not gonna put it back on, but see, it looks like this, and then you unfold it, and it looks like this. It looks like two things, and they're like sewn together, so that's a pretty cool piece. His legs have new, blue knee pads. There's the talent marks on his chest that you can barely see because of the light. And then you can see some more of those gray things right there. A talent marks on his legs. There's the ones on his chest, which is barely visible. Not sure what they're there for, but it's all over his armor. We have Obi-Wan Kenobi here, and he is pretty sweet. So he's got his orange hair that was seen also on his 2009 counterpart and it's it's uh, combed over and all that then his head is he has a beard and it's very similar to his other version except this version has a double-sided head and right now he's angry because I won't give him his helmet back he's got frowning face on this side and cool frowning face and then his torso has some unique tw new 2013 robes on with brown under robes and then he's got the tan robes there and it's continued on the back we get some nice printing back there and he's got a pouch lightsaber blade clip he has a blue lightsaber he has black gloves on and then check out his legs his legs are pretty sweet. They've, they've got that really cool orangish color that is used for some brick. A really cool color it's seen on the Town Hall set. And then he's got the white or the continuation of his 
tan robes right here, I guess. Kind of reminds me of Luke Skywalker's legs. Farm boy t tattooing legs in the 2009 Landspeeder set. That is Obi-Wan Kenobi. Lastly, we got two of these little twin commando droids here. They got these really cool heads. These were also seen in the Elite Clone Trooper and Commando Droid Battle Pack. We reviewed that set, so check out our channel to find it. So these two of these droids were also in that set. Anyway, they've got a new head shape. And then they've got that red dot on their chest to show rank. Their legs are battle droid, are used for super battle droids. Here. And you can see they're about the same height. He has metallic, dark, pearl, silver, or whatever. And they have brown. So those are the main figures. Now let's check out set. Alright, so we'll start off with the bark speeder with the sidecar. So, we'll start over here. And he, we see that it has a really cool shape there. Dynamic, aerodynamic shape. And then it has stickers all over it. We have these little wings here that turn like that. And then handlebars here. And then we have this here. And more of these wings up here. And this really long cool piece on a ton of 1x2 jumper plates there. And then we have a seat here for Obi-Wan Kenobi to sit in. Take his lightsaber out of his hand. So he doesn't need it right now. We just clip his hands onto the steering wheel like that. And then he goes on, or the handlebars, and then he just drives, but not without Rex, who sits on this sidecar and has no place to hold his guns. Neither does Obi-Wan have a place to hold his lightsaber. So we'll take the weapons, we'll strip them of their weapons for now. Now, Rex you can't put his hands on it, but here's is a here's a gun. And we also get some of these things right here. Blink missiles. And I always like to try and hit you guys with the flake missiles. Doesn't always work. Flake missile. Everyone knows what they do. Now this really cool feature right here. We got a sticker right here on this that's really cool. Really cool design there. And then it rotates. And how does it rotate? It's got these pieces here and you thought that it was attached to the bottom of here, but it's not. You see, this is actually a spare part. And then it's not attached. So this Technics thing comes in through there. It goes across here. And then it's attached to there and that, can, that little Technics piece right there is just going through holes so that it can spin freely and it spins around like this. He can rotate 180 degrees while Rex is speeding down the whatever. And then two, four harpoon guns on this thing. So it's a dangerous machine here. It kind of, it's way bigger than this customized bark speeder that I got in uh, the Battle for Geonosis set. It's much bigger. It has the sidecar, obviously. It's longer, and so it obviously needs longer pieces. And then it has more harpoon guns, and this, I took the harpoon guns off of this one. So now we got the Separatist speeder here. Really cool has a transparent brick here and these pieces to kind of keep it held up. And then we have these wing pieces right here. We have this really cool piece right here that's aerodynamic and we got all these aerodynamic pieces. The front is really cool sloped. That's a headlight that's movable. And to put 
the droid on doesn't really sit on there because they don't have legs like mi normal minifigures. So you put their hand, he put his hand on the clip right there. You can see that, like that. And then no sleeping on the job. He has to look forward. And you could put his other arm on there with the gun. Okay, so now I'm gonna give you my opinion on the set. All right. So this is a really cool set, and especially the Captain Rex minifigure. He does have some odd markings on him, but it's a really cool uh, minifigure that is on Brick Lake eBay for some high prices. But we want to know he's definitely a really cool minifigure in those Commander droids. Sad finishing touches to the set. And for twenty dollars, man, that's, this is just a really good value for this set. That's a kind of set. And it's got a lot of playability features. Ratings are printing is seven out of ten because it's got some awesome printing. Except the Commander Droids don't have printing. A lot of printing, so they're not really. Playability, 10 out of 10. You can do so many things with this. I know I do 10 out of 10 a lot. There will be sets in the future that I don't set 10 out of 10 on playability. Durability, maybe 8 out of 10. It's not the sturdiest set in the world. Age, recommended ages. Perfectly fine to be. Say 9 out of 10 because some younger kids may want to play with this set. Lastly, price $20. Yeah, 10 out of 10 because that's a really good price. So that's it. Thanks for watching this review. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time here on the Brick.